Alright, folks. Cool area here. Where's, where's Michelle? Wait. She's go. in my shot. I was here first. Nope. Sean, I'm going to I'll throw a boulder at you. No, <laughs> Well, howdy folks, Sean here from HikingWithSean.com and today we are at Panther Den Trailhead in the Shawnee National Forest and we're going to do the loop. Haven't been here in a while. Going to go up here, check it all out, enjoy ourselves and you get to come with us. Alrighty folks, here's the trail so far. It's nice and gravel for a little while, but it does turn into a more rugged single track terrain. And a lot of people complain about getting lost out here. So I recommend you download the off the offline all trails map, or you can get on a Venza and get those maps. Um, if, if you have issues getting lost, I definitely recommend that because there are different trail intersections river river runs through here you can get to crab orchard you know it is definitely the smallest wilderness area in the shawnee but it's connected to one of the largest you know national wildlife refuges um, in the region so you definitely want to have some sort of navigation but you can see it's kind of turned into a regular trail now and there are some hills there are some creek crossings but there's a lot of cool stuff to see out here. So definitely worth a hike if you've never been. And I don't think we've been in a very long time. It's been a while. Yeah, at Did least, come this way? at least this trail, you know. All right, folks, here's the first creek crossing. This is a place where a lot of people get lost. And it's cause there's some, some user trails and stuff. But the best thing to do is look for the blazes on the trees or if, if you have an app, use the app. But cross the creek and look for the blaze. Because there's really no other blazes out here. Definitely a pretty area. Panther Den is definitely full of really, really pretty scenes all along the trail. Little bits of bluffage here and there, creekage. Um, the rock formations are a little, a little ahead, but there's definitely stuff to look at on your way to them, and to enjoy a different, a uh, different mix of terrain. All right, you're on the 371. You'll get to an intersection where you go straight to the River to River Trail. And then you can also go this way to River River Trail. You want to go this way because there's a sign up there. It says rock formations. So, rock formations. And if you want to see the rock formations, you want to go this way. And it'll eventually loop you back that way. So, but we're probably not going to come back through the loop. Um, we're going to start following a bluff line after we see the main stuff exploring and stuff like that so at that point we'll be going off trail and whatnot all right folks you can see that there's a trail through here but they've put sticks and stuff on each side of it because we're on a switchback and the reason why they do that is to help control erosion so a lot of times and i'm not i'm not blaming every one of them but a lot of times horse riders will create new trails because they don't want to do the switchback because it's easier for them to just go straight down on the horse. The problem is that creates erosion and it kind of destroys the habitat and then the other trails and causes more work for volunteers and uh, or the forest service and all that. It is a big deal and you shouldn't do it. So use the designated trails. Um, and I know I talk about going off trail and stuff. It's a little different when you're going off trail and you're not making new trails. That's making a new trail. So um, try to use the designated trails. Don't create your own trails. 
Um, it, it might seem easier, but you're really kind of missing out on the opportunity of hiking by going down that trail. Alrighty, folks. Getting into the rock formation part of Panther Den. The good stuff. Cool area up here. Almost reminds me of like Giant City Streets. Just walls. That's where the main den is. Just a cool area. Isn't that cool? That's wild. Alrighty. All sorts of cool little nooks and crannies through here. I'll take you to the main panther den area. Hopefully there's not a panther in there. But I do have Michelle with me to protect, to protect me just in case. Because <laughs> she's my... <laughs> and I even got a light where we could see in there. Let's see. Right, and you'll come up to this area where it's like a stage, and it's really cool. It's almost like a stage, a natural stage. Big castle walls. And then the den is right in here. Sure, there's no critters. <laughs> Gotta duck down. Oh. <laughs> Make sure there's no copperheads. <laughs> Hope the light come off. All right, there's a and here's the den. You can see the wall and through here. Pretty cool, isn't it? I, I'm sure copperheads enjoy it. What was that? A Karen. <laughs> okay. Michelle took down a Karen. <laughs> Probably make some Karen unhappy. <laughs> but really cool area. The den here. There's all sorts of footprints because people come through here. <laughs> but it's really tough. <laughs> Squatted down quite a bit. So, there you are. Cool, huh? Here's the stage. We just went into the den right down there. Out of breath. <laughs> Don't know why, <laughs> but it's like castle walls. It's cool. yeah. All right, folks. Yeah. Went through all the nooks and the crannies. There's Chamel again. Mm -hmm. Sorts of folks enjoying it today. Enjoying the area hiking, getting out. Not letting a little cool weather stop them. Of course, it feels pretty good out. Well, that. Usually, a waterfall around here when it's really, really rainy. It just kind of comes barreling through this area. It's quite pretty. I think I've seen it a couple times. I think I've seen it frozen once. So, you can imagine it looks cool. And this is 1.4 miles so far. So it's a fairly short hike. Do about 3 miles. If you just want to come here and back. Alright folks, got a whole bluffage wall. Bandy. 
really cool. Kind of off trail now, following bluffing him. Looking for interesting things. It goes all the way through here. There's a waterfall up here. Which is not really active. I haven't had enough rain. trickle can't be the trickle yeah that's cool nice and slick through there <laughs> all right folks really cool spot over here it's a nice big rock shelter natural shelter yeah little spot they'll camp you know camp out or Hang out or whatever. Yeah, just an interesting area. There's a little camp out spot there. Fire ring, big fire ring. All sorts of banding. Fire ring used to be a lot bigger and more defined, but the Forest Service took it down just because they do that in wilderness areas. Try to make it not so man-made structuring. But definitely a cool shelter. Definitely a cool shelter. All right, folks seen here as we leave the trail and search for new bluffage oh okay <laughs> that's slick right there <laughs> all right folks had a little slick scare <laughs> i'm all right <laughs> i would have gasped but Michelle did it for the both of us. <laughs> so, now I'm just slowly making my way through on this Barrens. It's really, really pretty. It's really pretty down there. Love areas like this. It's just a little wet, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> Especially if you're hiking with Shonkle. <laughs> cool. There's like sticks in there. It almost seems like there's a bridge there at one time. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe just trees. It's kind of look like. All right, folks. Really pretty scene right here of Devil's Kitchen Lake. And just a really pretty area. All right, in the water, you can see like stumps and stuff. You can see them kind of right under the water and then the ones above the water. And this is Devil's Kitchen Lake. I've always been told that that's not stumps. That's the tops of trees. That this lake is super, super deep. So it's kind of intimidating. I'd like to kayak it eventually. You just got to go through a Basically, I got to give your a sample of your blood just to get on these legs. <laughs> but uh, it would still intimidate me a little to get on such a deep lake. 
because if I fall out of the boat, I can't just stand up. <laughs> and you can't just see me. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the dawn in my life jacket, as I always do. All right, folks. That's a really pretty scene through here. Devil's Kitchen. All righty, folks. Found an old home site, a well here. And, you know, I usually look at a, an old topo map and find these, but it's not listed on the topo map. So that means it's probably older than 1930s. Here's the foundation. So here's where the cabin house was. Four, four posts. So there's a little one. But you can kind of see it. Old bucket there. Some old fencing. So very cool. Very, very interesting find. Stuff like the guys old deer stand up here. <laughs> yeah, not too old, but it's an old looks like an older deer stand, kinda. Yeah. So really cool finding stuff like that. We love it. So it's a stacked wall. Oh yeah, a little stacked wall here. So the road comes through here to get to this house. And it's like a stacked road wall. So very cool. I bet there's some rails around here. Yeah, old gnarly trees, wolf trees. Yeah. Very cool. Kind of makes me wonder if there's another well up here. I bet there is. Because there's more foundation. Yep, here's something else that's right here. Almost looks like cemetery when you come through. A lot of people would mistaken it as a cemetery. But it's just foundation. And I see the well. So there's a couple houses through here. Very, very interesting. Another bucket here. This bucket has like designs on it. Huh. Still left. Okay. Huh. Okay. Stay on that side and follow me. Alright. Oh, all the... That's not what I want you to look at. Keep going. I'm in a basement or something here. <laughs> All right, you hold on. Hi, how are you? You don't see him? Oh, no, what is that? A deer cam. Oh, okay, with an antenna? Yep. Yep. That's funny. I see it. I'm going to look at this whale. Then I'll come over there and film him. <laughs> it's probably the same guy that has the other one. <laughs> All right. Here's another well. Pretty deep. What's that thing in there? All right, folks, got an armadillo. Did he? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Okay. Armadillo being armadillo y. Oh wow, that's funny. He went into his hole. Yeah. Alright folks, reached this little area where the trail leads to it. Just uh, right on the edge of the water. Cool little island out there. 
and all these tops of trees. <laughs> this deep lake. There's some geese making noise earlier, but they they know they're on camera, so they're not gonna make any more noise. <laughs> but you didn't ask for permission. Pretty cool little area. The trail just kind of leads right to it. And it's kind of a neat little area. The Devil's Kitchen. So, a lot of old roads, old home sites. But not a cast iron one. Apparently at one time, witches. A, a group of witches out here. Stirring <laughs> potions. There's the bones right devil's there. Devil's Kitchen. Hey, <laughs> it's a Devil's Kitchen witches. Yep. Look, right there's a bone from there's one of bones. their Hansel and Gretel. Yep. I don't know which one. Pretty good size. Yeah, that big old monster in there, good God. Good Lord. You big foot. <laughs> don't, tell, don't call your foot that. Well, my foot's smaller than yours. <laughs> you could fit into my shoes. I, well, yeah, because your foot's bigger than mine. All right, folks, here's some bed springs, glass bottle, and all these rocks. All right, something's out here. Oh, these rocks. Here's a well. Oh, Definitely a home site. Definitely a little old home site. This is crazy, all the home sites we're finding out this way. Here's a piece of metal sticking up out there. Piece of metal hugging around. Here's some, could have been the house over here, it's a raised up rock. Not that old, but yeah, still pretty old. Yeah. Not my the one I found yesterday. Huh. Put it back. Here's another yeah. old bottle right here. Yeah, I saw that one. Top's broken off. But right there, here's here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Piece of metal. Definitely a cool, cool little home side area. Yeah. Pretty, pretty sweet. Always cool to find these, and there's no markings on the map indicating these guys out here, so they're older than the 30s. There you go. Old, old gravestone. It's the only one. It's a little family pot. Wife of oh, M.L. Fox. Maybe we, we took it down before we researched it. Can't remember. It's hard for me to kind of see it. I think it was a Marianne. What's her name? So pretty interesting. Hey folks, we have completed our hike. We went 7.1 miles. Pretty good. Um, almost 700 feet of elevation pretty good um, there's a few times I was huffing and puffing but I feel like I'm getting better at elevation <laughs> it's you know Michelle's a hill crusher that's what we call her she loves the hills she's like I don't want to go anywhere unless it's 500 plus y'all better get your boots on because he is <laughs> full of crap <laughs> so thanks for watching like comment share subscribe all that good stuff and until next time. Oh, oh wow. It's bumpy. Oh, sorry, Michelle. I have it on you. <laughs> we'll see you on the trail.